Ghosts in Shadow. In a nutshell, by the drunk anime dude. Let's see what he has to say. The Eminence in Shadow, in a nutshell. Yes. Yo, I have no clue what this show is about. I'm going in blind. I don't even know the genre of the show. It's First episode. This is just like blind, because like... You know, this girl even like showed up in the first episode, but then she just disappeared. It's like, is she actually important? She's been recommended to me a lot, and I just know that it's dummy popular. Yeah. Oh, damn, so this bitch is. And I thought she was going to be so important, but nah. She just showed up in the first episode and no more. But don't spoil me because I hear that she might be actually important for the future. It's a popular girl. Nishino. Damn, that bitch got a fatty. Hey, yo, chill background character number 53. <laughs> Come on, dude. That's not cool. Oh my god. You heard that clank? That's his fucking crowbars in there, dude. That's his fucking muscle gripper things he got in there, bro. He's training. Uh, what the hell did he have in his bag? Rock? Crowbar, style? crowbar. Nishimura san. <laughs> He wrong said name. her name wrong. Wrong <laughs> name. Face, she's so pissed. I'm good at remembering the names of all the important people. At this point, when I was first watching episode one, I thought for a second that this is like a reverse Isekai because he's considering people as NPCs. So I'm like, hold up. Is this like a reverse Isaka where someone else has come into like modern day Japan and is considering all these people as NPC like game like characters? People. <laughs> Bro, he called this bitch an NPC. Right, right, right. You were technically a named NPC, weren't you? Like how could could you imagine the most popular girl, you call her a fucking NPC? Actually, that's a super giga chat, man. <laughs> Wrong name again. Wrong name again. <laughs> he did it again. <laughs> yep. <sighs> okay. I'm good. No, my God. He's got the We're always training. I need more power. I've seen everything. 20,500. Yeah. I can't even count that high. Oh yeah. My God. Yo, who's banging it out on the piano right now? The Moonlight Sonata. When the moon is red. The moon is red right now. Actually, it's, it's the sunlight setting. Oh. <laughs> is that my boy? Yeah. Oh, it's hella clean. I don't know about y'all, but uh, that deserves a drink. Yo, this bitch is walking home alone. <laughs> Who the hell in the JoJo is that? I mean, I actually got her name right. At least he got her name right. Yeah. Yo, Japan's wild, dude. Kidnappings be happening all the damn time in anime. This shit is getting tense. Oh my god, he just smacked the shit out of her. This is so crazy, because like in hindsight, now we're in like season two, and we're like in this like, we finished the Lawless City, and like we're going to John Smith, but like, this was an actual arc in season one too. We're just in regular day Earth, and it's a girl getting kidnapped, and it's like by these like military veterans, right? Like this actually fucking happened. Who even remembers this shit? Her. Batman. Yo, I'm getting some straight Batman. Vibes Isekai Batman. <laughs> I mean, he knows how to make an entrance. Oh, I yes, am vengeance. vengeance. A little bit different because before he was stylish bandit slayer. Or maybe this is just the subtitle difference, actually. Stylist Ruff and Slayer. Oh my god. What the hell kind of dweeb ass name is that? <laughs> Holy sh You just shit on Stylish Ruffian style but drunk anime to put some respect on my stylish Ruffian Slayer. Shit. He's just cursed off at this dude. He doesn't fuck around. Yeah. This is a 15 year old student in high school. This is like a 15 year old kid, right? Grade 10. Think about when you were in grade 10. Sid Kagano right now has always wanted to fight a military man. And he's going to use a crowbar to do so. What kind of fucking 15-year-old? You know what? Jumonji from Mahoka makes more sense than Sid right now. I've always wanted to fight a military man. Bro, you've been watching too much. Yeah, 17. My bad. 17. Yo, big difference, right? 17 and 15. My bad. Okay. It totally makes sense how a 17-year-old would definitely want to fight a military man. You're right, Psyche. You're right. My hero, my guy. Go outside. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What what the what the fuck did I just see there? Brutal. What? Oh my god, he's what what, what what no 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 what, what, no no oh there's a frame god, there's a frame there's man. a fucking frame Bro, here. Watching too much fuck. Wait wait. My hero, my wait. Gloss. Hmm. Side. Oh my god, Sid is fucking brutal. Oh my god, he's on his ass right now. <laughs> oh my god, he hit him so hard. He's the best part is he's describing the mechanics and the way that a, at a crowbar should be used in combat in such detail. He's such a nerd about Started it. Gargling. Oh my god, he's beating the fuck out yeah. of him. I bet yeah. the blood tastes good. Is it uh, the fuck? I don't. Why did why did they make it sound like he was gonna murder? Yeah, I thought he was gonna kill her for a second. It's like, what is going on here? 
Next no, time, dramatic be more effect. careful when you walk home. Not gonna lie, Sid's a cringe lord. You're right. You're absolutely right, drunk enemy dude. And that's the whole point of the show. <laughs> what does that even mean? I'll never be the eminence in shadow. What does the eminence in shadow really even mean, bro? I searched the word eminence and, and I read the dis dictionary description and I was like, I still don't really understand, dude. It's so pretentious, but I think that's the entire point, right? <laughs> he said the name of the show. <laughs> title drop. That's a dream. T title drop. <laughs> and that's another drink for reusing the same scene from the beginning. Ohio. I'm just starting to realize. So this anime channel is called The Drunk Anime Dude. So while he's watching this shit, he actually takes a shot or whatever during specific things. This is crazy. Name wrong again. Hey, yo, he said her name right. Never mind, name right. <laughs> That's what I call character development right there, boy. That's a drink. I'm just giving out drinks for the fucks of it now. I don't know if he's actually drinking, but he th there is no rules. He just drinks whenever he fucking feels like it. He's like, all right, fuck it. I'll just give him one right there. Uh huh? What? Yeah. He's dead. And this part is where I was so confused because I was so convinced that there was some. This is some kind of story about a person from a different fantasy world that's like telep this dude like reincarnated or teleported into modern Japan, and he's like living like his own isekai life here. But no, and then it's like Sid Kagano is dead. That was the biggest fucking beat. And then cue the credits. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kun. Oh, he's always one step ahead. Raccoon is always there for us to deliver the best isekai experience. post credit scene. Yo, what the fuck place is this? Wait, hold up. Is Cat that girls. a furry? Yes. Yeah. Wait till you meet Delta. There you go. Much better. Ooh, he's hella clean. Yo, I'm yeah. not gonna lie. Is that bad that I've never seen this show before and I know all the girls' names right there? How did you know? What do you mean? How do you know the names? There. Don't ask why. Here with what? Without looking it up, I'm gonna prove it to you. Well, how? Alpha, beta, yeah? delta, gamma, epsilon, eta, and zeta. The only way that he would know these names is because... No, no, no. The only way that he knows these names, and not like names assigned to the characters, is because you've taken like high school education. These are like, what is it, like Greek or Roman letters or something? I think it's Greek or some shit. Like using physics, right? Like these are like actual like numer like um, alphabet alphabets in, like, in, that, in that language. That makes sense. But if he can assign... If you can assign these names to these specific characters, that implies that this man has done his research in the best place in the internet. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Hey, I did it. Yes! Oh, shut up, bitch. Oh my god, he's so majestic. He <laughs> That's actually super impressive that he actually knows the name of each character. Yes, yes, Cedric, yes. It's like Batman. I did not expect the show to be Isekai, dude. I mean... I should have figured the poster had like what him and his. I mean, I didn't really look at the poster going into it because I just went into it blind. My episode one was just complete blind reactions because I wanted to get the full, authentic, you know, genuine experience. But yeah, looking at the poster, if, if you saw this poster and you saw like the initial part of episode one, it wouldn't have made a fucking sense. Seven waifu harem on the episode two. The show isn't on Crunchyroll, so watching it on high dive. High dive. It's not like I'm watching it illegally. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo come on man you're using nine anime still come on my man uh, oh yeah my dude got reincarnated <laughs> our mom is stacked i wish we got more of sid's mom man where's where's sid's mom dude oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> yes. oh yeah, oh, yeah. the most realistic baby cry oh yeah star baby acting right there am i right oh uh, um Oh shit. <laughs> Dude pooped his pants. That's a drink. So homeboy is pretending to be weak to blend mm. in as a background character because yes. that's what he thrives to be. And this looked impressive until you see Claire on the left side just blowing this shit up. A fucking background character. Yeah. What is this show? Bald. Bald. Bald! And then at night, he's just the fucking eminence, bro. <laughs> Murdering people. Well, he, is he the eminence right now? Or is he still stylish bandisler? No, he's only stylish bandisler when he has the paper bag on. He's the eminence right now. <laughs> this kid's a fucking psychopath. Yes. Even as a kid, even as a kid, he was just like looting people. Like, this has been a common feat that I haven't really recognized, huh? Like you saw in the Lawless City, the only reason he went there is to pickpocket people in this fucking slums. Like even here, he just fucking, he just robbing bandits. It was fucking brutal. Oh my God. Murdering all those people for the money, dude. Greedy asshole. Ugh, what the fuck? But wait, 
And I thought this too. I'm like, ew, this is fucking disgusting. And then she just turns into alpha. I'm like, oh, of course. Of course the monster blob turns into a waifu. Is I can use this blob. Oh my For god, what? he's gonna use For this what? Like a punching bag. What the yeah. fuck? I had some different ideas of how to use that blob, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sid needs the chill, bro. Oh my god, that blob was a person? Yes. Hold up, is that Alpha? Yes. But he's right about this. The hero's descendants, possessed genetics, the experimentation from Cult of Diablos. He called the fucking plot out even though he's making, me, he's making this shit up. Oh my god, he's feeding this bitch a lot of bullshit. Uh -huh. <laughs> he pretty much was like, here, you see this storybook? The people... About the three heroes in the Cult of Diablos. The three heroes. Huh. I thought it was just like one hero. You know, Alpha's like, uh, you know, the, the descendant the descendant of uh, Alpha. You know, the, the, the one that we saw. I forgot, I forgot the actual name of that girl. But, you know, we fought her um, when we went to I'm All, All Reigns Atomic. But there's three heroes? I didn't actually know that. People in this storybook did this to you. And this dumb bitch believed all of it. Yeah, she did. <laughs> Oh my god, that's a trick. So now he's asking her to join him in hunting. No, 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 not Aurora. Aurora is Diablos. I'm talking about the uh, the other girl. The one that looks just like Alpha because that is like, Alpha's like, uh, she's a, Alpha is a descendant of her. I, I, the hero something, Olivier? Olivier, I think. Yeah, 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 my bad. These people down. Here, girl, here's this goop. It will give you power. <laughs> he who lurks in the shadows to hunt the shadows. He said it again. He said the line. Oh my god, that is the corniest. Oh. That's a drink. Shadow's cringe, bro. Shadow God. Shadow God. Oh. Yo, not gonna lie, that name kind of go hard as fuck. It Wait. does. Shadow Garden is actually a great name. I love the organization's name. Wait, what? Another fucking kidnapping. There was one in the last episode, too. Yo, so. Yes, and just happens to be. A black haired girl with red eyes. Claire and Nishina looks, I mean, just in terms of the hair color and eye color. It's the same. I don't know. The sister? That sounds super sus, but I am always learning from my brother's sword. That is so fucking sus, dude. Holy shit. Bruh, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even gonna comment on that one. <laughs> But in just in that, I'm gonna need to learn. Okay, I thought you, the grown up, was saying, then I need to learn from your brother's sword too for a second. Never mind. No, 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 not that. <laughs> oh my god. He said one bad thing about her brother and she yeah. went ballistic. I don't think a lot of people understood at this point in the story that Claire is actually Yandere. Like, she cares a lot about Sid. I didn't really get it, but I. Because, like, she just beat on Sid and she kind of just, like, shit on Sid in the earlier episodes. I, when, when they were, like, ch childs, when they were still kids. But this was like, oh. She cares about him a lot, like in a really possessive way. She must really love her brother. Here comes Shadow and a sect of waifu ninjas. Hey, yo, the fights in this show, mm, bang they're hard good. As fuck. Yeah, the fight choreography, so good. Lesson three. Not another That's not a lesson. Lesson three. I'm just getting started. And if he's getting hyped at this, imagine how hyped he's going to get at episode 5 and the finale of season 1 when- Oh my god, bro. Like, oh my god. My fucking male testosterone levels are rising right now. This is like a One Punch Man situation. I- it's like- It is. It is the Isekai of One Punch Man. I agree. Shadow can pretty much just like one-shot you, but he appears at the end of the story while focusing on the side characters to get you immersed and- kind of get you almost feeling like you almost feel like these fodder characters these mobbers these enemies that shadow can like one shot are kind of threatening and once you get that feeling then shadow comes in and blows your expectations that's like the hype formula right like nobody can fucking beat this kid he's too powerful yo homeboy going to high school he's only 15 He's on 15 bro of course that's the average uh, main character age in the anime no. <laughs> what I thought he was older. <coughs> hey, yo. Sorry. Wait, so these are his friends? Wait, Bakugo's cousin. No, this is Skell and Poe. Connie. Actually, you're right. It's Bakugo and Connie. You're right. Actually, I did. it is Connie. <laughs> that straight up fucking is Connie, dude. What the fuck you doing here? So our boy Sid here lost a bet. And he 
she looks more like uh, she she looks more like uh, what's her name Nishina right from the I don't know just her face I guess or maybe maybe it's the hair color I don't know is this somehow related to Nishina I don't is that know. a girl will ask out the most popular girl in school <laughs> homeboy's bombing but it's okay. Because it's intentional, right? Yes, exactly. He's trying to fucking make this cringe and get rejected. That's what he wants, though. Wait. And she accepts. Yep. She said yes to him. Yep. Because you're the main character. Why does she even accept it again? I think it had to do with, like, having a guy to make Zenon Griffey jealous. Because Zenon Griffey and Alexia were somehow... Um, it's not... Was it, like, an arranged marriage kind of deal? Arranged girlfriend-boyfriend deal, I think? <laughs> Turning this thing into a rom-com, boy. Oh my god, she's one scary-ass bitch. <laughs> yeah, in the beginning, she was very intimidating. That, uh, in those beginning moments at this school, when we didn't really know anybody, Alexia definitely felt like the top bitch. She just ran everything. But it's actually not the case. They fucking hate each other. So to give you all some backstory, this girl is mm. dating Sid right now. Because mm, and he's about to start barking and woofing. And jump for coins. She's trying to get the other dude that she likes. Zenon Griffey, the Mr. Perfect guy, right? The captain of the fucking the Swords Club, right? We're trying to make him jealous. Takes jealous by dating some background ass character like yeah. Sid. But Sid doesn't fuck with it. He's like, bitch, I ain't got time for you right now. I got my That's later. But actually, Sid does reject her later. Yeah, he does straight up just reject her and she cuts him. My own thing's going on. Here we go. It's time to bark, guys. Time to bark. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> One more time. That sequence is so good. The voice acting is so good when he says Sono Torida. Let's go. So good. It is the difference in the voice that Sid brings out. Like, he has shadow mode voice. I think that was shadow mode voice. And even now, John Smith has a different voice too. It's really amazing how the same voice actor can have different, like, voice acting. Is, is this different accents, kind of? I guess it isn't different accents, right? Like, different voices to make it even more epic compared to his normal background character voice. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> That's just a drink. <laughs> I think this is really playing into people's degenerate fantasy. Like, the reason that Inukai-san's dog is an actual anime that people watched, it proves that there is a market for people that want to be treated like dogs, okay? They want these kind of mean girls to look at you and treat you like shit. And there is definitely a fetish. There is a fetish market of guys that wanted to be treated like that. Reincarnate as a pig, another example. Dudes want to be treated like pigs by pretty girls. This is a thing. I'm not sure if you want it, but this is an actual thing that people want. That's why the anime industry is feeding into that market. This show needs to stop. It's going to give me fucking... I'm going to yeah. need a new liver after this one. That's a dream. Oh, background He is a gold digger, though. He's a gold digger. And look, right there, right there. You have Bakugo and Connie here again. Character, you hit it right on the nose. Oh my god. I know I'm supposed to be following along, but Sid's oinking that shit up. Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> he didn't the ice cream. Ice cream cone that fast. Oh my god. Oh. He, he, he did finish that shit real fast. What the fuck? <laughs> Sid, Mr. Gluck Gluck 9000. No, that's Akino. Boy. <gasps> the bro, hell no. The noise he made over some money, dude. <laughs> oh shit. Sid and his homeboy's about to get jumped. <laughs> But they, the fucking cult of diablos are kidnapped. That's crazy that Zenon would do that shit. Like he is in, in charge of that and then he blames Sid for it. I guess it's because it's like at that point, Zenon realized that this motherfucker is with my proposed girlfriend. I'm going to get back at him, even though I pretty much kidnapped my own girlfriend at this point. But it doesn't matter because I'm going to be the future member of the rounds. Another fucking kidnapping. Bro, that's the third one. This show loves kidnapping women. Has there ever been more scenes kidnapping women after this point? Has there? I don't know. I can't remember at the top of my head. Oriana got kidnapped? No, I don't think so. No, no, no. That's a drink, bro. And now Sid's going to jail, bro. This show is crazy. Damn, got this bitch locked up in the dungeon and shit. Not gonna mm. lie. She 
Everyone thought that this person was evil, but I immediately saw this and I was like, no, this is a good person. Cute. This boy coming in here. Did he just say she's cute? <laughs> he just said he's just cute. Dropping a diss track on this bitch. She got the dog in her though. She ain't no bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she was really chill about this. Alexia was actually a giga chat for this. CGI horse, that's a drink. The interrogation is such a classic minor character material. Such yes. a high He wants to get hit more and more, and after this, he doesn't even heal himself because a background character, it ruins the immersion if you heal your wounds immediately. So he walks around naked in public, injured. Degree of NPC ness. Yes. <laughs> He's loving this. <laughs> Whoever voices Sid is such a good voice actor. Yes. And this is his base Sid cringe NPC voice acting too. There's different modes of Sid too. That's so good. He needs an award. He's so good. Mm -hmm. Goddamn bitch, he poking you full of holes. <laughs> I'd appreciate it if he wouldn't. <laughs> they should make a sitcom out of these two. <laughs> That's Iris. the photo in Sid's case file, bro. <laughs> Y'all did him dirty. You know he can't pass on the opportunity to slurp down some shit. Is that another CJ horse? Yeah, yes. Finally, they let my mans go. Hold up. Cake ch Not as caked up as Gamma, because this is the same frame. This is the same uh, choreography that they use for Gamma. Whenever she trips, she lands on her face, nosebleed down, but ass get fucking up. Okay, Every time. <laughs> so we one more time. One, one more time. Hold up, cake check, 5 out of 10. <laughs> so he just get home and his girl be waiting for him like- This fan service was fucking out of nowhere. This is where Alpha like pretty much undresses Sid. And like in the most erotic way while we're just talking casually about exposition, right? Look. This. Damn, she brought his ass a burger. Yeah. Yo, who the fuck sits on a table? Yeah. Table like that. Get down. Alpha does. Where's your Alpha manners, does. Bitch? I would let her sit on my table. bro. Yeah, I would, yes. <laughs> what the fuck you doing back here? Oh my god. This is why you have no friends. Get the fuck out of here. Yo, what is she doing to him? She, she's Yo, she's, she's gonna clean him up. Clothes. They about yeah. the fuck? Oh no. This is the privilege of the main girl in Shadow Garden. I don't think any other girl does this, but Alpha definitely does. Oh, she's just undressing him and shit. Yeah. Fucking Sid be out here like... And this is where you're supposed to be paying attention to the subtitles about the plot, but I couldn't. I'm like, yo, what is she doing right now? Really? She just straight up just like removing his clothes? Mama, change me. Change me, mama. Damn, Google you're Gaga. you all this shit because that bitch is allowing. Wait, hold up. Isn't he 15? He's drinking, right? Yeah, he is 15. I guess this is underage ain't drinking. Yeah, cancel him in his shadow. No, boy. Underage drinking. That's a drink. Oh my god, is that Beta coming to see him? <laughs> Sid's like, oh, hello, Beta. And Beta's like, oh my god. He's, he's so underage cool. drinking. That's so hot. Oh my god, he's so cool. <laughs> Everybody wants to fuck him, dude. Yes, yes. She writes fanfic. Like, you know, she like, not just like the regular shit that she writes, the vanilla stuff. No, she must have like smut too. She must write degenerate fanfic too. Oh my God. Sid's just fucking murdering people now. Beta's just back here fucking mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. documenting this shit. The arrow there was right at her titties. <laughs> Damn, he's turning this bitch into a big ass chicken. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, dude. Damn. This chicken free. Yeah, it's she, yeah, she say the Alexia because they are nice. They're nice people. It's just she's a monster form right now. Oh no. This episode, bro. Xenon Griffey versus Sid Kong and I'm sorry, Shadow. <sighs> this episode went so fucking crazy. Her little boy toy was the one behind her kidnapping. Who would have thunk? God damn, this bitch can throw down. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot Xenon Xenon actually did that? He punched Alexia in the face like that? Oh, this must be like episode four before. Holy shit. This show just loves hidden women. Here, I'll drink for the woman. Uh-oh. <laughs> Your day about the gift. A man clad in black, darker than black itself. Fucked up, my boy. Oh. He said the line, he who lurks in the shadows in order to hunt the shadows. So cool. <laughs> like, no one asked that to. He just shows up. Zenon and Lexia. Zenon and Alexia, look at, look at this shit, look at this shit. Zenon and Alexia are just having their own thing. Some dude just enters out of nowhere playing a theme song. And he says this line. It's like, what the fuck? Who is this guy? If you really think of it from Zenon's perspective, like, it just makes no sense, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man, we're not back to that corny shit now, are we? Oh, we That's are, we are, <laughs> we are. Uh, you need to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> Sid's too fucking strong for you, my guy. Immediately moves, saves Alexia, and then tells him, Oh, where is this future member of the round? See, look at how fucking fast this dude is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> say your line, say your line. He said that right there. He's fucking gone. Oh, yeah, that's right. Big ass chickens on a rampage right now. Oh, shit. Did you see that? Alpha did the anime thing. <laughs> mm hmm. Alpha's Excalibur here, here. Actually, I thought this was going to be the peak of the episode, but Alpha did, Alpha's Excalibur, which is pretty big. Look at this shit. <laughs> I'm sure it's not called Excalibur, but you know what I mean. It's like a huge, like, nuclear attack with a sword, right? Look. <laughs> Alpha just... This shit's crazy. And look, that, that form. That, that's inspired by Delta for sure, but goddamn, I remember watching this. I'm like, why is Alpha fucking posed like that? I get it. She had to swing the sword down, but really, you're going to keep her in that form? But like, this explosion was pretty cool, but little did we know what had in store in a couple of minutes later. For Sid to go, I'm atomic. Just fucking obliterated the chicken. Alpha scary, my dude. Just shit on Iris. It's like, yo, y'all are just fucking shit up. Stay out of her way. You're just hurting this person. Let me, you know, purify this homunculite demon thing and get on our way. Don't get in our way. Iris, I think at that point was like Shadow Garden. Oh, fuck. We are so weak compared to them. I don't want to piss her off. Yo, bro talking all that shit. And Shadow just looks fucking bored. Yeah. This is so good. This, this fight sequence is so fucking good. <laughs> Bruh, ain't no fucking way he just went ooh, 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 past you yeah. and just bonk. No way. Then I'll give you a fight. <laughs> then he takes these pills and he says the most shitty thing ever. And he says, I'll show you the power of the almighty or something. With these pills. Steroids? Uh -huh. Yo, he going all super saiyan shit. Oh, I am the fifth awakened. <laughs> I Pretty thought much. he was gonna come out looking all clean and shit. <laughs> and we go yeah, it doesn't really look good here. It just looks like he's been monsterized and like he's lost his humanity. It just doesn't really look good, huh? Some goof ass haircut. <laughs> I mean, what? That's, this is Super Saiyan haircut. Just because Zenon's wearing it's bad? I mean, it kind of does. In a crusty ass ripped up shirt. I'm so fucking drunk. <laughs> I can't. He is 15 shots deep in right now. Like, no, hold up. How does he actually do this? Like, you don't just take, like, this isn't one take. He's not watching all this in one take. He's making a YouTube video out of it. He's editing it. So like, how is he taking shots while he's making it? I don't know how this is set up, but it's interesting that he has a drink count. Can't anymore. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Ch At this point, he drops his sword. Zenon Griffey takes these steroid pills, says some shit about being awakened, about being the almighty. Shadow gets so triggered by that, he drops the sword, and then he just proceeds to beat him up with his fist, when Zenon is supposed to be in this new power level. Shadow got the dog in him. Yo, I seen yes. this clip all over Instagram and shit. He already got spoiled. Man, how are you gonna get spoiled for the best scene, bro? Let me give you a little story time. It's a little bit of a story time. And remember, Zenon Griffey, the people here don't understand what a nuclear weapon is. They don't have this technology. So everything Shadow's about to say makes zero sense to him. So cool. <laughs> this is one of the coolest lines, too. Let the true meaning of Almighty be carved into your soul. <laughs> you know he practiced that line, too. Absolute terror in his face. Now, here comes the ASMR atomic. Atomic. Oh! Woohoo! Yeah. That was the cleanest shit I mm -hmm. have ever seen. Mm -hmm. If you're not sold by Eminence and Shadow at this point in the story, I don't know what to tell you. If you're not sold by Eminence and Shadow by episode 5, by after witnessing everything that happened, and I still think episode 5 is a fucking perfect episode. Start from be start to end, perfect pacing, so much action, so much hype, so much cringe, delivered on exactly what Eminence and Shadow should be. I don't care. I'm watching this on 9 anime right now. Don't tell me that you're watching this illegally. God damn it. Think of my corporate sponsorship for the future. No, I don't give up. High dive. I promise I'm watching Eminence Shadow on High Dive. Fuck, you know what, you stupid fucking monkey? Take my money. Take yeah, it. Yeah, there high it is. Dive. There it is. Yes. <laughs> yes, High Dive. Exactly. Sponsor us. Oh, my male testosterone levels are through the fucking roof. That was the cleanest. And like the craziest thing is like we're too hyped to like understand what happened. But Shadow basically nuked 
this city. I know people say that this place, this place got evacuated, but just for fun, just to fucking flex on Xenon Griffey, Shadow decided to fucking nuke this city. Isn't that fucking insane? Who's gonna pay for all this shit? This Definitely not Shadow I've Garden. Seen an anime in a while. I'm so and how the fuck did Alexius say, like, survive that? Uh, people say, oh, Shadow can selectively choose who gets hit or not, you know? Alexius was technically outside that purple, you know, range where he's placed it before he went anatomic. It's like, bro, come on. Are you, how the fuck did she... That's whatever. You don't, have to, you don't have to focus on the details like that. so hard right now. <sighs> I had to go. The hole is still there in episode 20? That's insane. <laughs> they didn't fix that shit up? I wash my face after that one. <laughs> my boy nuke tapped the goddamn... Bro. Take a shot for this, come on. City, look at that hole. Aww. Drink. Look at Sid talking to his girlfriend. He looks like he's having a great time. There's something I wanted to talk about. Oh. She went completely dead to dead here. She was like, oh, you want to be my boyfriend? Uh oh, it's the talk. I'm pregnant. She, Yo, she I starts don't like twirling her hair. Side of her. So if you're in. Yeah, I, yeah, that ooh side of Alexi is kind of weird because you're so used to her being like this. The shitty person, right? Alexia, do you think she's a good person? I don't think she's a terrible person if you really think about what Alexia's done. Like, she's terrible. But then when she shows me the ooh side, it's like, oh, this is so not you. What the fuck? Interested. I was thinking maybe we could try to keep this relationship going a little longer. <laughs> Bro, nah. she's in love with him now. Nah. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> And I don't think anyone could have expected what comes right after the scene, right? Because this is where she slashes it. And it's like, what? Like, you, you deadass just, like, would try to kill someone for rejecting you? He turned her ass down. <laughs> she looks so pissed. She Look turned his this. ass into Swiss cheese. <laughs> Who does that? Who the fuck does that? It's so absurd. <laughs> Good thing you can't die, though. Oh, no. Not another bitch that's gonna fall in love with Sid. God yes. But she's gonna fall in love with Sid after she sees Sid with blood on his face. Damn, Sid. You're so fucking mean. Daijoubu. Oh no, not the shoujo vision. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been like five seconds. Oh no, a guy with fucking blood all over his face helped me get up so romantic. Seconds, and he's got blood all over him. And like, Sherry Barnett, after the next arc, she pretty much considers Shadow like the person responsible for her family's death, even though that's not really, I mean, Kind of, she did kill her old man, but her old man was the one that killed her mom. So technically it was righteous, but at the end of the day, I think Shadow did it to protect Sherry Barnett's like, like past memories of how she saw her like adoptive father, right? Or was it actually her father? Anyway, Sherry Barnett has been set up to be a villain for the future. When is she gonna show up? Not in season two, I guess. Dude, Sid's Poland. Oh yeah, and he didn't even cover Oriana yet, but this is my first video of the drunk anime dude. Pretty entertaining. Go like the video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't. And his drink counter. I want to know how he's setting this up while he watches this, but pretty fun. And by the way, we do these live reactions on stream 7 a.m. PST on the weekdays. So hope to see you there.